Hey everybody, just uh, woke up this morning with um, Hannah out of First Samuel today and just wanted to mention this one principle that was just so etched in my mind this morning as I was waking up. First, uh, First Samuel chapter 1 says that Hannah was a woman with a sorrowful spirit, but she poured her soul out uh, to the Lord. And so in our culture, we have so much, uh, what do you call it, mental illness. You have so much depression. You know, I was listening to a teacher uh, in one of the states. I can't remember what state she was from, but she said like all of her faculty, I mean, like 80% were on antidepressant medications. You have it, it's an epidemic with the children and everything. And so in the first part of this verse in 1 Samuel 1, it says that, that Hannah was a woman of a sorrowful spirit. She'd had um, her, this other wife of her husband had been harassing her, had been condemning her, which these are all things that the accuser of the brethren does, does to young people and does to old people. And sometimes we feel like, sometimes we feel like we're never, uh, that we're never going to have a depressed moment or that we're never going to have uh, a down moment, but that's not reality. Even the scripture uh, in the Beatitudes says, blessed are those that mourn. But what you do with those moments, instead of turning to drugs, or instead of turning to your therapist, or instead of binging on food or entertainment or whatever uh, vice or whatever addictive behavior it might be, the key here is, but what Hannah did different was she poured her soul out to the Lord. And I'm saying that in those moments when we find ourselves in disappointment, uh, condemnation, sorrow, uh, heartache, heartbreak, if we'll turn that moment into a pouring your soul out before the Lord, it is the beginning of a great breakthrough. And look at Hannah. Hannah was without child. She was depressed. She did not have. Uh, she she did not have a man child, and she was crying out to the Lord. And when she cried out, she didn't eat. She she was so sorrowful. She didn't eat. But the key, when she cried out to the Lord and poured her soul out, one of the greatest breakthroughs in the Bible happened. The great prophet of Israel, Samuel, was conceived, and he was raised. She lent him to the Lord. And so I can look at my life, and, and so many times when there might be a down moment, there might be a disturbing moment, there might be a condemning moment, there might be a heartbreaking moment, when I have turned my heart directly to the Lord and cried out to him, I have seen breakthroughs happen in those hours. When it seems like defeat is inevitable, when it seems like your back's against the wall, turn to the Lord. And it's a great blessing. It's a great honor and it's a great success and it's great prosperity when you are able to pour your soul out before the Lord. And I have seen in my life some of the greatest breakthroughs in those moments. You know, look at... Uh, you know, uh, I'm, I'm trying to think of uh, the guy's name. Uh, was it Joshua? You know, when he when he said, uh, when, when he wrestled with the angel. He wrestled with the angel all night long. I think of David, man. He was, he had so many gut-wrenching moments. Uh, Saul was chasing him for, I don't know how many years, 17 to 20 years. He had 3,000 trained assassins chasing after him. And yet he would cry out, he would pour out his soul unto the Lord. And I just encourage you with that today, that don't, when, when you have those moments, when, when you have those dips, those are just natural things. You know, I've, over the break, we watched so many commercials, drug commercials, you know, and people want to make it like you're never going to have a down moment or a down situation. You're never going to have a misunderstanding. You're never going to have... Uh, a, a moment when you're blue, if you'll turn your soul, turn your heart to the Lord like Hannah did, you'll not only see come through with peace, you'll not only come through with sincerity, 
You'll not only come through with uh, serenity, but you'll also come through with an answer and you'll come through with breakthrough in Jesus' name. All right? Thanks, guys. I just want to share that with you. We'll talk to you soon.